Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. Today we're going to be talking about a book called The Songs You'll Never Hear, which I believe is a debut released sometime this month. I received an advanced copy of this book from NetGalley in exchange for an honest review. Let's begin. This book is a love letter to music and in some ways to friendship. The story delves into a surface level representation of the music industry and Meg's pop star brother, but the focus is on her passion for songwriting and making a name for herself outside of her brother's shadow. Meg is the main character and the narrator and the character that I never warmed up to. She's rude and snobbish and straight up mean to every single character she interacts with on page. Even the characters in flashback scenes. Her brother's fame unintentionally made her become an influencer but we don't really see any exploration of this other than the annoyance of public attention. So her constant meanness feels out of place. She's also deceptive and dishonest about her identity to her online best friend because she knows him in real life and he hates her due to her meanness. There are no redeemable qualities and she made the book incredibly difficult for me to enjoy. In contrast, Alana is the standout character of this book and she is pure light. I love the exposition of her confidence issues as a plus size girl and her fear that people only praise her talent out of pity for her appearance. However, as the token diverse character of this book, her presence is accompanied by an overwhelming fat phobia from both main and side characters, and this is never addressed to my memory. It's only after a character makes her cry that Meg decides to step in and defend her. The one good thing Meg did. Casper is Meg's brother and is a character that I should probably feel a lot more strongly about than I do. He's only ever on page to start arguments when he doesn't get his way and to bully Alana under the illusion of helping her. Um, there's not a single moment in this book where he showed a glimpse of being a good person, simply did not feel anything or care for him when his redemption arc arrived. I thought a lot of the things he said and did were unforgivable and he never took accountability for those things, just blaming his actions on the stress of the industry. I think my biggest issue with the book is the timeline. The majority of the plot takes place over one week, then another week to conclude after a two week jump. So much happens in a short amount of time that it feels both unbelievable and underdeveloped, especially Meg and Alana's like, enemies to best friends friendship. I'm also going to blame this rush timeline on the reason why every other side character felt so one-dimensional but I can't help but feel like they're never supposed to have more than well they weren't ever supposed to have a defining impact on the story. It also meant that a lot of potential storyline and character arcs were incredibly simplified in a way that felt almost juvenile to still fit in all these events in a limited page count. In summary, the book cover and description were very appealing to me, but the story fell flat from the first page. I originally gave this book three stars on Goodreads, but dropped it down to two stars after spending some more time dwelling on this book as I was writing this review. So I think that's all I have to say. This is a short one. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.